Perhaps one of the most satisfying moments for anyone who is learning about the NGSS is when they realize that they get to put their newfound understanding of the practices, the cross-cutting concepts, and the disciplinary core ideas to use by reading the performance expectations and NGSS tables. Educators also seem to feel a great sense of relief in knowing that they can now navigate the NGSS on their own. The goal of this culminating activity is not for participants to read every single performance expectation, or PE, for their grade level. Rather, the goal is for participants to see how the three dimensions come together to create the PEs, and to understand that the PEs are statements of what students should be able to do at the end of instruction. So we recommend doing this activity only after your participants have spent time learning about each dimension of the NGSS. This activity consists mainly of a PowerPoint presentation. We recommend that you make this an interactive process by drawing out questions, comments, and input from your participants throughout the presentation. Your goal as a facilitator is to clarify what the PEs are, and more importantly, what they are not. Because of the way the PEs are phrased, they might sound like they're describing a single activity. You'll want to emphasize that the PEs are not instructional strategies or objectives for a lesson, even if they appear to be. The next portion of the presentation explores the structure of the NGSS tables. It's a basic anatomy lesson for the NGSS, illustrating what you'll find where when you're reading an NGSS table. In this part, participants learn about the foundation boxes, and how the three dimensions are related to each PE, the connection boxes, the title and numbering code system for the tables, as well as the clarification statements and the assessment boundaries for PEs. If you have more time available, you can give your participants access to the tables for their grade levels and let them explore. Encourage them to discuss what they notice and wonder as they look at the tables. It's also important to keep in mind that it is not possible to learn everything about the NGSS in one sitting. Assure participants that they now have a solid foundation for building their understanding of the NGSS and that they should feel empowered with their new ability to navigate the performance expectations and tables. Encourage them to share this skill with other educators. There are many more lesson plans and resources on our website, so if you're interested in ongoing professional learning about the NGSS, be sure to check those out.